So in 2014, McKenna was diagnosed with a Wilms tumor. It's a form of kidney cancer. She was stage four because the cancer had actually metastasized to her lung. She battled for nine months. In January of 2015, she was diagnosed to be in remission. She was cancer free. So it was a very exciting day for us after a very long process. We started doing follow-ups with McKenna's oncologist at clinic. We were almost to three years before in an unrelated doctor's appointment, they had done some blood work. That's when we learned that from the treatment from the Wilms tumor had actually given her a secondary cancer. She was admitted to the hospital for our first very long inpatient stay of uh, over 30 days. We were there. McKenna started having complications with her breathing on just short walks, stuff that she had done plenty of times. And we realized that there was complications from all the treatment that she had had with her lungs, which also caused issues with her heart. And unfortunately, it was something that she could not overcome. And we lost her at the end of September of 2018. What I remember about her was, she just had this presence. She just had this kind of light that was so unique in a child. Her smile, she just sparkled. She walked into her room and she's just one of those kids who I think about as being just good to the earth. Being around her, it was sort of contagious. I remember visiting her many times and leaving with, with sort of a, a sense of renewal. And I, I feel like it inspired a lot of things in my life. So some of McKenna's favorite things were the beach, hanging out with her friends, being with family. She really loved food and she loved the Food Network and, and, and she loved us cooking in the house. A lot of people talk about how sweet she was, which she definitely was, but she was focused and determined as anybody I've ever met or known. McKenna left us too soon. What we want to do with the Fight on McKenna Foundation is take her spirit and make sure that it lives forever. We're gonna take her sweetness, we're gonna take her goodness, we're gonna take her focus and her determination as she was in her 14 short years, and we're gonna pay that on to every other kid who is fighting against cancer and help their families. The people that support us and our foundation are now behind every one of those children that are fighting cancer as well. So whether it's through programs like Integrated Oncology to help with massage therapy, exercise bikes, aromatherapy, nutritional health, or if it's just to help the families how to cope on having a long-term inpatient stay, 30 to 40 plus days in a row. So we want to try to take all the funds that we raised through this foundation and put it to helping families. To capture the, the essence of her would be to allow other families to honor her spirit that way and give them a sense of, of that hope helping a child and their family with cancer and just want to help them get through in a more kind and holistic way. This is a great program that you can contribute to because your money will be used in ways to really help alleviate distress and suffering and promote healing. I spend a lot of time thinking about the foundation and what it can be doing and how we're gonna to try to help as many kids as possible. It's a promise I made to her during her last hours, and it's, it's a promise that I'll never break.